Welcome back to Introduction to iOS Application Development at SSFS. In this project, we're going to be building a very simple quiz application that relies on pulling questions from a server. And to do so, we're going to use a, utilize a tool called Backend as a Service. And that's just a, a fancy way of saying it's a, a pre-created way to store information that your app can use. There are lots of these different services available. Uh, the one we're going to use is called Basebox. And Basebox is an open source um, backend that allows allow us to store information. So let's go ahead and quickly run our app to see what this is going to look like when we're done. So I'm going to hit Command R to run. And I get this initial view controller if I'm already logged in. And I can either play or add a new quiz question. Uh, just to get an idea of what this will look like, I'm just going to show play for right now. And if I click play, uh, it's going to ask me a question about the founder of our school. I get four choices. I have a timer that's running down. And I get to click on the answer. And if it does, I see the score increase. Uh, and it gives me the next question. And then once I go through, again, all I have right now is three questions. I'll get this one wrong. Once I exhaust those three questions, it takes me back to my initial view controller. And then we'll look at how to add a new question later and logging in or out. So it's a pretty basic app. It just asks some questions, gives us a choice of answers, and tells us if we're right or wrong and keeps track of the score. And it gives us a limited time uh, to do it in. So in order to store this information, we're going to use a service called Basebox. And Basebox is an open source service, and which means that it's free to use. And it allows us to store information such as questions. And if you go to Basebox.com, you can go to Downloads. And it's, again, free to download and install. And when you do it, you're going to download the Basebox application and SDK and an SDK is a software development kit. If you're downloading this at home, you'll want to download the, the latest stable release of Basebox and the appropriate SDK for the platform you wish to develop on. Uh, once you download Basebox, you're just going to open up a terminal command and run it. And again, I'll leave that as an as a exercise for you. Uh, however, once it is running, if it is running correctly, when you go to the local host, you should see this screen here. If you're doing this as part of the class at SSFS, there'll be a different address to type in, and you'll get that in the documentation. So once you have Basebox set up uh, and running, you'll be able to add users, log in and log out, and add the questions. So we have a couple more things to do before we can actually start setting up our game, and we'll start doing that in the next lesson.